podréis presentar? I would like to present the liturgical art exhibit of the Symposium Sacrosanctum Concilium, a symposium to express gratitude and to encourage new efforts after a great movement of ecclesial communion. The Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments is celebrating this symposium in the Pontifical Lateran University in Rome on February 18th, 19th and 20th of 2014. Sono 50 anni che la con 50 years have passed since the Constitution Sacrosanctum Concilium illuminated the liturgical life of the Catholic Church. One important point developed in the Constitution makes reference to liturgical objects within the liturgical life of the Church. We have chosen several vestments worn by the Supreme Pontiffs from Paul VI to Benedict XVI and also several liturgical objects that they have used to celebrate the liturgy throughout the years. In order to grasp the meaning of this exhibit, we must begin by calling to mind an important text of the Second Vatican Council. In Article number 34 of the Constitution Sacrosanctum Concilium, the Council Fathers teach us, the rites should be distinguished by a noble simplicity. The Father spoke of the different rites, but this principle must also be applied to liturgical objects. This noble simplicity should be sought in the creation of vestments and sacred vessels. The Council Fathers also insisted that all of the elements that make up the sacred furnishings must possess the dignity that is proper to a liturgical celebration. The Council makes reference to all of this in number 122 and successive numbers of the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, pointing out that the celebration of the liturgy should assume styles and forms of expression that are truly artistic. Del tempo di Paolo VI, this noble simplicity was sought in the pontificate of Paul VI, as is demonstrated in this exhibit. We can observe that although the vestments worn by Pope Paul VI were extremely simple, they contain a profound beauty due to the materials used and the subtle forms and shapes which make these items classics today. As the years have passed, we have fallen perhaps into a mistaken interpretation of the conciliar text that invited us to embrace this simplicity. The noble simplicity is a harmony of elements, a harmony that enhances the beauty of the objects and the dignity of the worship. This harmony helps us to experience a sense of respect towards God and to appreciate the greatness of the liturgical actions, which enlighten the entire life of the community and of each individual believer. The Extraordinary Synod of 1985 was celebrated in order to discuss these matters 20 years after the Council. In this assembly, the Synod Fathers encouraged the Church to recover the sense of the sacred in the liturgical celebrations. A few years later, 25 years after the publication of the Constitution Sacrosanctum Concilium, Pope John Paul II presented to us a document called Vicesimus Quintus Annus, in which he encouraged us to rediscover the deep values of the conciliar constitution Sacrosanctum Concilium. He also insisted upon an authentic interpretation of the constitution. Therefore, in number 10 of the letter Vicesimus Quintus Annus, the Supreme Pontiff, remembering this call for noble simplicity, taught us that this continues to be a value in the liturgical celebration today. 
However, the desired simplicity must not degenerate, he says, into the impoverishment of the signs in the liturgy. We must recover the beauty and the sense of the sacred in the liturgy. In this exhibit, we can observe and contemplate some important elements of the liturgical items and vestments which Pope John Paul II introduced in the celebration. The mitre and the chasuble of 50 stars which were offered to him on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of his priestly ordination. The crozier is similar to that of Paul VI as it was fabricated by the same artist, but is more refined and precise. We can also contemplate the beauty of the chalice, the pattern, the cruets, which he used frequently in the celebration of the Eucharist. And now we have come to the pontificate of Benedict XVI. In the Apostolic Exhortation Sacramentum Caritatis, in Numbers 40 and 41, he insists, everything related to the Eucharist should be marked by beauty, a beauty that takes advantage of both modern and antique styles. One of his chasubles, fabricated with exquisite care, adopts some antique elements, but at the same time offers to the traditional style a completely new expression. We can also contemplate a beautiful monstrance, an exact representation of the monstrance in a painting by Raphael that can be found in the Apostolic Palaces. This monstrance was used to adore Jesus in the Eucharist during the pontificate of Pope Benedict XVI. This is the path to follow. Sacred art today must be inspired by taking the best of old and new styles. We must truly seek forms and styles that manifest that noble simplicity that the Council Fathers requested. The forms used should help us to seek the face of God, to seek His own beauty through the elements that compose the entire liturgical celebration.